Something very special for you today, children. I'm going to read from my book, The Story of Me, and the illustrations by my dear friend, Vicki Rutch. So settle back, get comfortable, and have a listen to this. And uh, it says, check out this promise from God. Before I shaped you, put your name in there. Before I shaped you, right. In the womb, I knew all about you. Before you saw the light of day, I had holy plans for you. A prophet, a speaker of truth to the nations. That's what I had in mind for you. Now I took that out of the Bible and I put it into my book and it's from Jeremiah chapter one, verse five. Have you ever wondered what you were here for and how you got here in the first place? You are an amazing story and you have an amazing story to tell. God made you and you have a special place in his heart. He loves you and he has a purpose for your life. Of course, your mum and dad had a very important part to play as well. Without them, you wouldn't even be here. You were formed in your mother's womb. No one except God could see you as you grew, day after day, month after month. And then you were born. Woohoo! Every year you are celebrated because it's your birthday. Yeah, yeah, it's your birthday. Celebrate. You are a miracle. You have special gifts, talents, and abilities. You are unique and you're not a mistake. You might like to sing, like me. La, 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 la. <laughs> I love to sing. You might like to play sport. You might be good at drawing and designing. Everyone has something that they can do that will help to make this world a better place. You can make a difference. Making a difference means making life better for someone else. Think about your gifts and your talents. Do you have any ideas about how you could help others? Many people have had great ideas and inventions to help others. Think about Leonardo da Vinci. He thought of the helicopter. Thomas Edison designed the light bulb. The Wright brothers made the first flying machine. Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone. Isn't it wonderful how creative and inventive people are? You are creative because God, the creator, lives in you. Think about it. You could come up with a brand new idea to help the world. A cure for disease, a different kind of fuel, a new way to grow food, something brand new, you could do it. Jesus has an amazing story too. He was born with a purpose, to love us and to die for us so that we could have eternal life, to live forever, eternal life. He made the biggest difference of all and he paid the price for your sin and my sin. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody shout, thank you, Jesus. Now the devil, he doesn't want you to know Jesus. He wants to hide the truth. He wants to deceive you, to distract you, so that you will never live God's amazing purpose for your life. But Jesus won the victory over the devil when he rose from the dead. Hooray! Jesus is alive and you can have him as your best friend every day. This is everyone's purpose, everyone's purpose in life. Why not ask Jesus to forgive you and receive him and his amazing love? You can do it right now. Why don't you say this, dear God, that's right, you say it, dear God, I believe you sent Jesus to die and take away my sin. I'm sorry for everything I've ever done wrong. I believe Jesus is alive 
and I receive his love and forgiveness. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you, Jesus. Well, you can spend the rest of your life following God and loving people with all the special talents and the gifts that you've been given. You are an amazing story and you can live your best life now. I hope you enjoyed the story of me. Bye-bye.